absolutely blowing Dallas out of the water last night. No surprise that tickets, merchandise going quickly for games one and two coming up, of course, at T-Mobile Arena. We have team coverage tonight. 8 News Now reporter Brian Will is standing by. But first, 8 Sports reporter Ron Futrell joining us in studio after checking out the staggering prices for tickets, Ron. Yeah, this is indeed, Denise, a buyer's market. With prices changing quickly and going up for Saturday's opener between the Knights and the Florida Panthers at T-Mobile. So you say you want to go to Saturday's Game 1 at T-Mobile Arena and watch the Stanley Cup Final live. Well, get ready to pay up. The Knights had a few tickets go on sale today in the Upper Bowl, but they went quickly. So now you've got to go to the secondary market, like StubHub. The resale tickets. Now the Upper Bowl at T-Mobile Arena, you are looking at $685 all the way up to 1000 If you want to sit downstairs, well, tonight those tickets are topping out at nearly four grand a piece. Then perhaps you're thinking about going to Florida to see games three and four. Eh, not much cheaper there. At last check, eh, 570 to 750 bucks for the upper bowl. And for seats in the lower bowl, up to $3,000. And yes, there are people willing to pay the price. As for tickets right behind the team benches or the nets, the, the primo tickets in the arena, there are people asking for 10 grand or more for those. I, sh I should mention, by the way, in the interest of honesty here, the prices have gone up since, <laughs> since those graphics were made a couple of hours ago. We can't keep up with them, okay? I do want to mention this, too. One thing Knights owner Bill Foley did after the 2018 final was create two levels of tickets for Knights fans. You pay a lower price, but you cannot resell those tickets through brokers. You pay a higher price, and you are free to sell away. Foley did not like seeing all the Washington Capitals fans in the stands six years ago when the Knights made the final for the first time. Brian Denise. Ron, thanks for that. Now all of this excitement for the Golden Knights, it does continue. Many are now flocking to area stores to get some more Knights gear. So we sent a 8 News Now reporter Brian Will to the official team store, which is the Arsenal at City National Arena, to find out how people are gearing up for the game. The Knights are headed to the Stanley Cup and fans are headed here to get swag before the first game on Saturday. We got, the, of course, the shirts, and I could not pass up the opportunity to get the purple jersey. A steady flow of fans were at the Arsenal following Monday night's blowout game. The line extended all the way around the store. It included Mike Villa Jr. and his son, Caden. We've got hats, we've got shirts, we've got jackets. And they have big plans for the first game of the series. We're looking at uh, possibly going to the game. We're looking into that. It's a special moment where I, I was born and raised here, so was he. And, uh, uh, you know, these moments don't come by too often. There was even excitement outside the store. Go Knights! Inspiring the next generation of fans. Pretty excited. Let's go Knights! So cute. T-shirts are the most popular items that fans are buying. Uh, the Arsenal and City National Arena, by the way, is open 10 a.m. to 8 p.m.